Hey guys, Lego Free here, and welcome to yet another custom Lego minifigure tutorial. So, um, just wanted to say a few things. First of all, um, number one, um, some of you have been trying to contact me on Skype, and I haven't been answering, and that, and the reason for that is like I'm really busy and stuff like that. So it's nothing against anyone. So like, don't think I like I'm avoiding you or that sort of thing. But um, it's better if I plan it out. Um, when to Skype before I actually do it, otherwise it gets a little crazy and things like that. So, just so you know, I can't just Skype whenever, it, it kind of needs to be more planned than that. So, um, yeah, if you are interested in talking to me on Skype, then just, um, you know, let me know um, in the comments. You can send uh, send your rent request or whatever to LegoFreak316, because um, that's my Lego, my Skype name. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, so it's like I'm not avoiding anyone, it's just I, I've been really busy and it's better just to plan it and have a schedule to work with so yeah anyways um on to shout outs so um yeah here we go now i have the list on my um my uh tablet this time so uh yeah let's do it um so first shout out goes to you fire burning customs um once again um because um he's a friend of mine and you know we've been skyping and stuff like that and he asked for a shout out so there you go right up there and boom all right next one one second yeah, no, it's just, uh, I'm not as organized as I usually am. Anyways, because I'm filming this later in the day. Anyways, um, next shout out goes to AJD Pictures. So, yeah. Um, and then there you go. Ask for a shout out. So, there you go. Up in the corner of my room. Pah. And, sorry, just got the list over here. Alright, next one. Bricks and Flicks, ask for a shout out. So, there you go. Right up there, in the glorious corner of my room. Ta -da! Pow. Next goes to. All right, um, Finn Mertens. Mertens, ask for a shout out as well. So there you go, right up there. Yeah, big and bold. So um, yeah. Pow. So that's all the shout outs. Now, as always, if you want a shout out, make sure to let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to put your name up there as you saw with these other names so um yeah without further ado let's get into it all right and the mini figure for today is nightwing from the arkham knight video game now you might have noticed my background is a bit different um you guys can let me know what you think of it in the comments um i kind of like it the lego look of it but um yeah i just wanted to try out some else except uh, instead of that blank white background so yeah um i hope you guys like it um let me know again what you think in the comments um because your opinions do mean a lot to me so um yeah but anyways um i was looking through my videos and realized i have not done yet done a tutorial on nightwing from the arkham knight now if you haven't seen my arkham knight showcase i would recommend checking it out um as i said before i think those are some of the best figures i've ever produced the ones um from there so yeah um i really like the way this one turned out um the the look in the game is really cool and i think it did a good job of replicating that here um i do want to say keep in mind my the blue paint i used was a little chunky you can kind of see there's like it's bumpy and things like that so um yeah but it's a really good color so that's why i used it so if it looks a little bit rough um that's the reason is because the paint is extremely hard to work with and also he does not have his little sticks um his little beating sticks so yeah i did not um, make those yet i do want to um, i just haven't done it because i've been working on a lot of projects as we'll see later but um yeah let's get into the tools that i used right and the tools that i used for this particular minifigure include silver paint light gray paint dark gray paint so it's two different kinds of gray um flat black and gloss black so um yeah i've used this technique several times so the flat black and the glossy one um you guys have probably seen that before if you've seen some of my other videos and uh, this kind of clumpy but really cool looking blue so um yeah and of course a paintbrush and a thumbtack as always for details so yeah let's get into the pieces that i used all right guys so the pieces for this character are pretty much just the nightwing pieces that you get with the lego nightwing um this one here so um yeah just keep that in mind just all of these were the original nightwing pieces nothing is really different it's just all been painted to look like the arkham knight game so um yeah no reason to a uh, transition here we'll just go right into the uh painting tutorial so um yeah pretty much um okay actually um i'm sorry this hair piece is not from the nightwing this is this kind of wavy hair you probably know that i'm sorry i totally forgot but yeah this is not the same hair this is different um yeah so anyways um that was awkward but uh yeah so first thing i did was i painted 
um, this kind of uh, V, I painted part of it blue um, to look like it does in the game. So uh, yeah, step one. Step two is I painted everything else on the torso in uh, um, flat black. Um, yeah, so it was just completely black except for the blue V. Then what I did was I went back with gloss black and I did this little kind of neck thing he has, as well as I did the ab pads. I basically, whoop, drop my, uh, my thumbtack here. So I kind of painted basically just kind of a big old square right here. Um, and then I painted a line down the center. And then I painted the lines that go across. There's like, it's like a little, kind of like a little, it, it kind of curves down and then goes back up. So yeah. Um, and then I kind of did a U shape right here. And then a V shape that goes down and then back up. So um, yeah, pretty much that simple. So yeah. Um, and then what I did was I did this kind of oval right here that goes around the V. It starts here, goes this way, and around and up. So yeah, and then I did these two little gray bits on the side there, kind of like little just L type shapes um, with gray. I did two silver dots next to those. And then I did three silver V's in this little neck thing that he has. I took little plastic parts and I cut them into the shapes of the pockets. I painted them with gloss black and then did two silver dots on either one. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so now for the arms, pretty much what I did for the arms was I painted this blue type V thing and then two little blue lines next to it. Um, next to that, I, or under that, I did this little silver rectangle, um, a little uh, light gray square. Then I painted his wrist with flat black, um, which is a little hard to see, but yeah, I painted his wrist with flat black, did a line of gloss black down the middle, um, and then I did two little light gray um, parts, and then two blue parts, one on the front, and then one on the back of the arm as well. So yeah, and same can be said for the other side. Now I did do this little silver thing as well, little silver detail. So um, yeah, now for the back of the minifigure, um, whoop. Um, there we go. So what I did for the back was I painted this kind of shape he has with, or actually first I painted everything flat black. Then I went back over with gloss black and painted this kind of V type thing that he has there. You can see it's like three triangles. It goes down, up, down, up, and then down, up. So yeah. Then I painted these two little blue bits there. Um, I painted two black lines that go across that way. I painted a black line down the middle. Um, and then I did basically uh, a kind of an L-ish, an L type shape down and then this way. And then down and then this way. So yeah. And then um, pretty much I painted a square on this side. And then a square on this side. And uh, then I painted this kind of shape here. That kind of goes up to the to the square. Or not square. But this kind of pointed thing. And then I just did some lines that go across. So it kind of goes up and then down. It's like a very very small. You can't really see the whole. Like it bends a little bit. So it's like. A, it's not really a V shape. It's, it's a little wider than that. So yeah. And then this is more of a V shape right here so yeah um now for the the legs on the back here pretty much what i did was a silver line with two silver lines going out that way and then some boot lines there on the back not much for the back of the legs for the front of the legs um you can see i did this kind of w shape with dark gray as well as the knee pad and then i did two little blue lines on the side there and a silver line down the middle um yeah and same on this side this gray w shape with a light gray line and um, the gray knee pad, dark gray knee pad and the, the blue lines. So uh, yeah, and the, the lines do continue to the sides, which is a little hard to see, but uh, yeah. So that pretty much does it for the body. Now for the face, what I did was basically this was the Nightwing face. Um, so yeah, you, you could see, here, let me go ahead and take off his hair. Um, you can see that was the original Nightwing face. So yeah, pretty much what I did was um, uh, I kind of just painted his mask on. I basically went over um, what did this little point that he has going up to his forehead, and then I outlined his mouth. Um, I kind of continued the mask that was already there down to the mouth and then around it back up to the other side. I basically just filled the rest of the sides of the head in with black, and I redid the eyes a little bit. I also painted this, the kind of hair around his mouth because he does have a little stubble. So yeah. And now for the hair piece, I did modify it a bit. I cut off the end so it's not nearly as wavy as it was. Um, and I think it looks nice. I think it looks better. Um, it's not nearly as like, it's it's not as exaggerated as it was before. And I, I like it. So um, yeah. And of course, I did paint this black. It was Aquaman's hair. So it was yellow. But um, yeah. So um, not the most complex figure, but still one that's a lot of fun. And um, 
Yeah, so um, it really just um, a lot of detail on the arms and the uh, and the front, and um, the head was pretty complex too to get the mask to look right. And of course, I do want to give him his little sticks. Um, not sure what else to call those batons or whatever. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, guys. Uh, that about wraps up this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe. Um, leave in the comments any suggestions for figures to make. Again, I am working on the suggestions. Excuse me, that you guys um, have suggested for me. Um, a lot of those I'm still working on, and a lot of other things as well. In fact, I'm going to show you some more sneak peeks um, after this, or you know, things I've been working on, updating that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, but. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for, again, all the support that you guys have been giving me. I'm so close to 200. In fact, I might be there. I haven't checked. I haven't checked recently. So, um, yeah, I might actually be there now. If so, I'll make my 200 subscriber video next. But I don't think I'm there yet. But anyways, thank you guys so much um, for the support and for the nice comments and that sort of thing. Um, and leave a comment. I do respond. I try and respond to every comment. Um, so, uh, yeah, and of course, if you do want to shout out, let me, blah, 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 blah. let me know in the comments, and, um, I'd be happy to do that, but, um, yeah, so let's get into the, uh, sneak peeks. Alright, guys, so, um, for sneak peeks, pretty much, I'm just gonna show you these quickly, I'm not gonna do 360s, I'm just gonna show you little bits, um, that way, you know, you can see them in better detail when I actually make a video. So this is my updated Arrow from Arrow Season 4, and I think it is so much better than my other one. Um, but yeah, you guys can let me know what you think by what you see here. But yeah, I've been updating this for a while, and I think it looks much, much better than my old one. So um, yeah, next one is not done yet, um, but this Wonder what will be, or it is Wonder Woman from Batman vs. Superman. So, um, yeah, you can see there's quite a bit of detail already, but not quite done just yet. There's quite a bit more to do on this figure, but, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this because I think it looks really nice right now. And I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. And, whoop, I dropped her. And then Hawk Girl, who is not near done yet either, but, um, she's well on the way. Um, so yeah, you can see nice detail. Love the color on this. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about this one in the comments because I think this looks really nice right now. Of course, it's not done yet. Um, I will be putting hair on it eventually um, as well as wings. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about these in the comments. And um, yeah, this has been Lego Freak. Peace.